gonna head up there. Go up that waterfall on the right, up to the very peak, and then down that gully on the left. Right after I check my GPS rescue. So I almost always end up doing three flights at a location and uh, usually the video you guys see is made from the third flight after I've warmed up and gotten used to the spot. This is a clip here from my first flight at this spot. I mean I've, I've flown this location before but this is my first flight here this day. So you can see I stay a little bit further away from the bushes and stuff and try to take a look while I'm flying past where the if there's any scraggle over top of the waterfalls because you can see obviously this season there's quite a bit of scraggle. So I just sort of check things out and yeah, just get it out for the first flight and see how my video does. Right now the video is looking pretty good, but now in this clip, I, I don't know, it doesn't really show up all that well it seems on the OSD here, but uh, to me when I was wearing the goggles it seemed like it was quite obvious that my video was not the way I liked it to be when I'm up here, but yeah, it actually looks pretty clean just watching this video go back, but uh, you'll see here in a minute that the the screen does start sort of flickering out there. You can just see it sort of shifted to the side because it lost part of its sync. And the yeah, you can kind of see the background or the blue sky there flickering a whole bunch. So normally I'm used to it being just rock solid. Yeah, this is worrying me because it's not what I'm used to. So I just ended up heading on my way back home. For some reason my GoPro recording didn't work out for my second flight. But so uh, here's a shot from the OSD of my goggles. Uh, you can see I, I flew for too long here on, on the second battery. I'm down to 2.3 volts. And I think my milliamp hour count is not set correctly for this quad because it, it should read higher than that if I'm out of the bat out of battery. So it's lucky I uh, made it back there. All right, so I've done a calibrated my goggles a third time now trying it. I'm keep remembering little bits and pieces because I don't have the internet connection to actually look it up. So I think it was that it's supposed to be on 5800 the channel and uh, 25 milliwatts, which I didn't do either of those last time. So hopefully now it's all set nice and I can actually uh, enjoy this flight.
Oh, I think it's still recording. So we went up there, up the waterfall, up that hump there, and then along to the ridge at the very top, and flew down the ridge on the left there, and then down that big gully, and then back home. Finally, my video was working, yay! This is where we're uh, flying from here. 50 feet off of a logging road, uh, kind of weaves up here from the main, the main logging road. Looking over this way, and saw this box in the tree here, locked to the tree. And I'm like, just trying to figure out what exactly it is. But it's like, oh, it's actually like mounted into the tree. Oh, there's like, there's holes that look like it's been mounted in different places. Uh, what does it say? Primo's hunting. So it's like a motion sensor camera. Oh yeah, there you can see the lens right in the middle. In the motion sensor. So it's, yeah, I guess it's something to do with a hunting thing, but I don't see why you'd want to have a hunting camera, like, out here. That's kind of weird. This is where we had to walk through from, there's the road down there. I parked just around the corner. Just hike across this brush here to get to, uh, To get to our flying spot here. Here's where we were uh, set up and uh, there's the mountain we were flying right there. When a river goes underneath the road, one of the small side rivers goes underneath the road, there would be uh, this to channel the water through so it doesn't wash away the soil around it. And uh, this is what happens when there's a big giant flood or like a mudslide in that river. It just takes this giant can and <laughs> tears open the three quarter inch steel and throws it down the river. There's uh, another spot in a different part of the, uh, the valley. There's actually two other spots where I've seen these things. Because uh, I guess it's not uncommon for them to get washed away. There's one uh, oh, down one of the other side roads that looks kind of more like this one, where it's got like this, looks like a submarine hatch almost, but I guess that's to inspect inside of it and see if it's blocked or something. That's uh, some pretty significant uh, change in the water to be able to unearth that thing and uh, smash it up like that. Hey, so I thought you guys might find that interesting. I'm. Uh, Gonna head back on the road, getting home now. <laughs>